Hi, I'm Beth. And I'm Austin. And today on the Points Unknown channel, we are going to show you how we uh, convert our van from a camper van into a um, motorcycle hauler or gear hauler or any anything else. As you know, um, Daphne, a part of being Daphne is uh, that she is dynamic, she's a dynamic van, and, and so we can go fairly quickly uh, in around 10 or 15 minutes from full camper van mode with a kitchen, bed, fridge, toilet, and everything we need for camping uh, into a gear hauler uh, where we can load motorcycles up and, uh, and, and haul them around um, all in the same van and without having to haul a trailer. So without further ado, we'll uh, get to the disassembly. Make it move. So as you can see, we have our kitchen, our bed, and our toilet and fridge all in the van right now. Um, but that all needs to come out. So once we got everything out of the van, or out of the kitchen, rather, um, the kitchen is secured by these um, these two clips that we have bolted to the kitchen itself um, with hex uh, bolts going through to little backing plates on the back. So it's just a bracket that bolts on to the kitchen itself and goes through the seat um, discussion where the back seat would normally be. Uh, if we were in that mode. Um, and then it's just two plates, a plate on the top that's attached to the kitchen and a plate on the bottom that has a couple uh, rib nuts on it. And um, that's what we need to take off. And then similarly, there's another one of those. Just on the side here. So we pull the drawer out and you kind of see it's back in here. Back in there is the same same type of thing. There's two bolts there and another bolt right there. So we pull those out and um, then the kitchen will be ready to come out. And just a reference, like this is the little plate that goes on the other side that wraps around the seat, the bars that go across the seat discussion and holds everything in. I just leave those in there though. And the last thing I can't forget to unplug the kitchen or the pump, which is just this guy right here. Here's the pump, the kitchen tower. And next we're gonna take the bed out. Now that we got the mattress out, we got the kitchen out, everything's out. Now the bed panels can come out. This first bed panel actually doubles as a uh, motorcycle loading ramp. Um, so you'll see us use that in, in a second. One of the big things that we did on, on bed version uh, 3.0 is put on these handy dandy little straps right here and here. And that allows us to, uh, to pick up the, the bed panels much more easily because you can see I don't really have room to get my fingers in here. But with the with the um, webbing straps that are just bolted through it into the frame below, it, uh, it makes it really easy. So the bed came out, uh, which is just the platform, but the boxes that the platform sits on um, stay in the van pretty much all the time. They're bolted in with uh, two bolts that go into the side rails. You can see a bolt here and one here, and it's similar on the other side. Um, I've, I've shoved in a bunch of insulation. It not only provides a layer of insulation for temperature, from a temperature perspective, but it also helps dim, dim the sound of you know, the wheels and things like that. Yeah, you do tend to get the most noise from right in those wheel wells. Yep, so that helps to cut down on that when we're driving along, not quite so much when we're sleeping. All the stuff that we um, 
we like to have uh, in the van is um, is here in the top of the box. And of course we can't access that um, when the bed is in place, um, when the bed platform is in place, which is why we have these handy dandy um, cabinets that are magnetic um, to do that. And lighting, of course, underneath the bed when the platform is in. As well as a power receptacle here um, for just a 12 volt power. We've got power for our fridge under there as well. Um, and power for the kitchen here. So with that, let's uh, fill this empty space with stuff. Like I said, the bed panel doubles as a nice wide motorcycle loading ramp. It's pretty handy. Um, I always like to strap it in um, to make sure that it's not going to slide out in case I do any maneuvering or push the brakes. I'm not the best at motorcycle loading, as you'll see in a second, um, but it's functional. So as you can see, fairly short order, we went from van camper mode, uh, adventure van mode to toy hauler mode. Um, usually takes, what, 10, 15 minutes to get everything in, and uh, or everything out rather, and the motorcycle in. Um, and uh, we'll, uh, we'll do everything in reverse here uh, in a little bit once we get the, the motorcycle to where it needs to go. Putting the bed and the kitchen back in the van. So we got the uh, the bed out of the van in order to um, put a motorcycle in it and have the van uh, act as a gear hauler. Uh, but now it's back to camping time and um, we don't have a place to sleep. That's kind of sad. So uh, let's put the bed back in. Putting this back together is similar to what we did uh, when we were taking it apart. There's these plates, uh, as we talked about, that look like this. And those plates uh, fit underneath the bars that go through um, the, the seat holder escutcheon for the, uh, the second seat. So this just slides underneath. I will note, I did have to cut, you can see these are not full length uh, plus nuts, these are cut down to just a few threads so that they fit underneath the bars in the discussion. So that just slides underneath there. And then we've got our bolts and washers from the other side. <sighs> takes just a little bit to get these things lined up because they're cut to just be the right length. It does take just a little bit of finesse to get it to catch. This side has uh, the bolt, one bolt on the far side there, and then the two on 
the other attachment point here. And the same goes for these as was what went for the other ones. And once everything is just tightened down sufficiently, I try not to torque it too much. It's uh, it's good to go. And you can see, I mean, it's it's lofty and it's not moving at all. kitchen together um, is put our uh, water and wastewater tanks back in. Green tank for wastewater. And throw that in first. It just comes in like this. It's hooked up to this outlet. Tighten down snug and that's good. Then water tank. Oh there's water in here. It goes in second. It sits right in there like that. And then we've got both a, the tubing that it draws up and a tubing guide here. Uh, the tubing guide we've drilled out so that water can get in it. But it just keep, this just keeps the tube from kinking as we're tightening it up. That drops in there. Tighten it down nicely. Don't forget to bungee the water. Check everything is good up there. Yep, and then all the tubing looks nice and good. Everything is connected, and this flap comes down. This is just uh, insulated um, Gore-Tex. Well, it's uh, it's got the 3M insulate inside of it. And this just acts as another insulating layer since we are right up against the door and the window, and we do have all of our water back behind it. Um, nice to have just an insulating layer, but we we tend to keep the van pretty warm uh, when it's parked and cold out. So that just hangs out like that. The bed is back in the van and it is comfortable. And we're ready to go on our next adventure. So, as you can see, it took us about 15 minutes to go from toy hauler mode back to camper van mode. Part of the deal in getting the van and selling the pickup truck at the time was that the van could serve double duty. So I think it does a good job of that. It does. If you like this video, you should like it and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get more of our content. We'll try to put out content about our van, about motorcycling, about our adventures, mountain biking, skiing, all kinds of stuff on a fairly regular basis. Uh, on our next video, we're going to go in, on the van anyway, we're going to go into uh, a little more detail on the kitchen, how that's all set up and the water system um, and how we have all that wired up with the pump and the tanks uh, to be fairly versatile and again, very portable. Um, and I think that covers it. I'm ready for bed. Yep. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. <laughs>